If I'm correct, today's your birthday, right? How old are you going to be turning today? I'm going to be 42 years old, and why the heck are you asking about my birthday now? And before we even get to that, weren't you supposed to be coming home early today? I've been waiting all day for you to be here so we can celebrate. How lame of you to be waiting for someone that doesn't care to be home with you. <laughs> There's nothing about your birthday that makes me want to be there celebrating it with you. Is that really something you should be saying to the woman you've been married to for 15 years? Well, be aware that those 15 years we've had together, and today. <laughs> what does that mean, Tony? I'm saying that you and I are getting divorced. I'm still in my freaking 30s, aren't I? However, you're turning 42 years old today. You're already halfway through your life, and you're going to be out of this world long before I am. <laughs> Do you really think I want to stay married with someone that won't even be around for my later years in life? Who will I have around the house to help me when I'm retired and I'm no longer in the mood to do things myself? What are you talking about? In just another three months or so, you're going to be turning 40 years old. So tell me what the heck has gotten into you today with all of this age talk. Never before have you gone on about our ages until today, and saying that you want a divorce now because I'm a little older than you isn't going to change you still becoming a 40-year-old man soon. I've already chosen to get divorced from you today. <laughs> so whether you like it or not, there's nothing you could do to stop me. Now, grab all your things from the house, and get out of there. I already handed in the divorce papers, so it's final. Huh? Are you really being serious about all this divorce talk right now? Why wouldn't I be serious about all of this after all the time I've wasted talking to you about it? Well, if you and I get a divorce, then what are we going to do about our daughter? Lainey has only just entered high school and everything, so breaking apart now would put her through a lot of unnecessary stress. Well, Lainey's been telling me that she doesn't want to live in a house together with a hag like you anymore. Now that she realized how old you really are. <laughs> she plans to stay with me and live here after you're gone. What? She's being serious as well? Did you already talk with her and everything about the divorce you're wanting? I have, and we decided that the both of us want you to disappear from our lives for good. At this point, not only do I not need you around anymore, but neither does Lanny. Saying all of those awful things about me, talking with my daughter about that before my birthday is terrible. I can't even believe that you'd talk with Lanny first about divorcing me before even asking me about all of this first. When it comes to Lanny and talking with her about serious things, it's only natural that I talk with her first. <laughs> she is an amazing young woman, and I'm very much aware now that she does not want to be living together with an idiot like you. Now, you're beginning to get on my nerves by sticking around right now, so hurry up and get lost. I seriously never actually thought that you'd be talking with our daughter about things like that. Well, it's already happened now. Thanks for telling me all of this. Another thing, you're going to still need to pay child support after the divorce. <laughs> you want me paying child support? I'll be the one having to keep her in my house and looking after her, so it's only fair that you pay for her. Then... well, then what about any sort of settlements? What are you talking about now? <laughs> I'm not going to be paying you a single penny, even if you ask. That should be an amazing present for a 42-year-old woman, right? You'll lose your young and strong husband, and be forced to live by yourself as you grow older and older, with nobody around to love you. I never could have imagined that I'd be called an old hag by you on my birthday. And I never even thought it was possible for both my husband and my daughter to talk about divorcing me behind my back. But if you are both on the same page about wanting to leave me today, then there's no helping keeping you both around me. I guess I will be leaving this house. You are no longer going to be part of this family, 
And don't you ever think you can come back to us in the future. <laughs> All we are to you now is a couple of complete strangers. If that's what the both of you want to think of me. But just make sure that you both never come around me again, as I'm going to be a stranger to you both from now on as well. And don't you ever forget what I just said to you. Why are you not answering your phone? I am trying to get a hold of you because we're in a bit of a pickle over here. If you're going to do nothing besides call me over and over with no prior context, then I'm not going to answer you. Can you tell me why the heck you're trying to talk with me after four years have gone by? Especially after what we all agreed on after I left. This is a very scary emergency and Dad needs your help! What? He got into a serious accident and will need to get surgery done on him right away! Did you seriously not stop to think that me calling you over and over like that might mean that there's an emergency over here? I don't really care what you think about all of this. It's an emergency and you need to answer the phone right away. Oh, could this actually mean that an old hag like you has never answered a phone call in her life on her cell phone and has no idea how to? Hm. If you've only come here to say rude things to me again, I can go ahead and just block you for good. That's not what I'm wanting to talk to you about. I want to talk to you about having you pay the 30,000 medical bill that will come with dad's surgery. What? Ah, so that's what's going on here then. This must be some kind of scam call, asking me to pay money for one of my family members, even though they don't actually need it right now. Huh? What are you going on about? That's not what this is. I am telling you the truth when I say that I need you to give us the money to pay the medical bills, but this isn't a scam at all. Really, all the medical care that Dad's receiving is going to cost us $30,000, and we need that money from you. And this isn't just for him, but for your daughter as well, so pay up. Excuse me? My daughter? Right now, Dad doesn't have anyone else he can count on to pay the bills. I really hate having to ask an old hag like you for help at this point in time, but you're the only person with the money to be able to hand it over to us immediately. So, can you just get to work sending that 30000 I've asked for to me? Sending that money to you? Why do I have to be the one to give you both that kind of money? How many times are you going to make me tell you this? Have you already become senile? Open your gosh dang eyes, old hag! Dad's got into an accident and he's going to get surgery very soon here and so that 30000 is needed to pay for all of the medical expenses, so give it to us! He's your ex-husband, right? And not just that, but I'm your daughter, so give us that money for our sakes, okay? I don't have a daughter, though. Huh? How about you try opening your eyes up a little, young lady? I do not have any daughters, and right now the only person I see you as is a complete stranger. Now, I don't think you're going to gain any more from me today or ever again, so I'll be going now. Hold on, you! What the hell are you talking about? You aren't going to be going anywhere right now. Do you really think you can end things between us that easily? You and your father were the ones that told me in the divorce that you no longer wanted me coming around either one of you anymore. And that you'd be cutting ties with me, right? You had both made it clear as day to me that you no longer wanted to be family and that I needed to stay a stranger to the both of you. Looks to me, though, that you both asked for more than you could handle from me and are no longer able to uphold your guys' end of the promise. That being, staying away from me. What the hell are you talking about? We had all ended things off by saying we'd all be strangers to one another four years ago, right? So that means that for the past four years and continuing on after this, you are not my daughter. And if you think that you saying you're my daughter now just because you need money from me is going to change that fact, it will not. I'm sorry, but I have no idea what kind of games you're trying to play right now. What are you saying right now? This is not the time to start joking around about what happened back then. Right now, we need to be talking about how that surgery is going to cost $30,000. 
And when it comes to me, I don't have that kind of money, and Dad doesn't have that kind of money and savings either. You were able to get a settlement paid out to you by Dad in the divorce back then, right? You give us that money back right now so that we can afford for Dad to get his surgery. I was given a settlement? I don't ever remember getting any sort of money in the divorce, though. Huh? It's been quite the opposite, actually. So far, I've paid your child support for the past three years without getting a penny from your dad or anything else in return. There's no freaking way, right? Child support? I don't even believe you for one second that you'd have the money nor the want to pay anything like that. Well, you don't have to believe me or not regarding something like that. I just assumed that I was still responsible for you still, even after you left me. And so that's my reasoning behind paying the child support. Even after you told me you never wanted to see me again and just wanted to be complete strangers. Just be glad that I was willing to pay your father that kind of money for you. But remember that I only have to pay your father until you turn 18 years old. Are you sure about that? Because I never heard anything from Dad about you giving him any sort of money to support me. Remember that you've been sticking around a dad that tossed his wife out of his house on her birthday while saying horrible things about her. I'm sure he'd never tell you anything about how I've been the one paying for you to be as privileged as you are. But at this point, I couldn't care less about him telling you about all of that or you believing me about it. Anyway, I don't think you or your father are in the place to be asking me for any more money at the moment. No matter how much of an emergency it is. What? So you're really not going to pay that 30000 that we need right now? Even when I'm stressed the hell out right now because of all this? Even if you tell me that you're that stressed out right now, you have nothing to do with me and the life I currently live. <laughs> It's not even like you're related to me anymore either, since you were the one that asked me long ago to forget that you were ever my daughter. I know I said some things like that, but right now the situation in the family has changed. They've changed? How have they changed? I told you that I don't think of you as my daughter anymore, and as for your father, I definitely don't see him as family anymore and gave no interest in whatever's going on in his life. You don't have to be that cold about how you really feel about us, okay? Well, don't you feel like you were cold to me back in the day when speaking to me? Huh? Whatever did I do? Well, for starters, when I was worried about you right after the divorce, I tried texting and calling you, but you'd only ever reply by asking me to shut up and stay quiet. And since months went by of you never saying anything else to me, I gave up on you. It was after how cold you and your father were to me back then that I finally realized that you both really did not care about me being around you guys anymore. And back then, I'm sure we were a bit cold to you about things. But that was three years ago, and I never imagined that Dad would get into such a bad accident and end up needing an emergency surgery that costs this much. If it wasn't for his situation now, I really would not be talking to you now, because I really do not need you in my life besides for money. Well, don't worry about explaining your actions to me, as I feel the same about you now. And that's why now, all we are to one another is complete strangers. Hence why I've said that I do not have any daughters. So tell me again what you want with me. If you don't have any other reason for talking to me right now besides wanting me to give you money for your crappy father, then I think we can stop talking to each other now. Hold your horses! I do not like hearing you say things like that about the both of us. So are you seriously planning to not pay for Dad's medical bills? This surgery could be the one thing saving him from dying after the injuries he sustained. Is that so? Well, that must be heartbreaking for you then. But let me be very clear that he has nothing to do with me and my life anymore. So I really do question what the hell you're going on about right now with everything you've said today. When you have a problem like that within your small family, then you guys have to figure something out on your own without getting complete strangers involved. Please and thank you. Huh? You're talking about your gosh dang ex-husband! Why are you acting like you never knew him right now? 
And how come you can't understand how much your daughter needs you to help her right now? You should be able to understand that when a couple has a divorce, they usually regard one another as strangers thereafter, right? That is such a far-fetched argument to make right now. A far-fetched argument? I'm just telling you what actually happens in a divorce, Lainey. And let me ask you this. Is you coming to me after years of never talking to me all just to tell me that your father was in an accident and needs money right now? Not some form of you trying to scam me for my money? <laughs> Did you really think you were going to get me to follow along with that story? I told you that I'm telling the dang truth! Nothing about this is a scam! Well, even if it's the truth, that has nothing to do with me. I am not in the mood to hand you guys any money, and I'm not even the one responsible for you two anymore. I've already gotten remarried now and have a family of my own that I'm very happy to be a part of. Do you think you could give me the relief of staying away from my new family and I now? Huh? You got remarried? I found myself a new man that loves me way more than your father ever did, and we are married now. And he brought along his kids with him, which I've grown to view as my own now. I have some very cute kids and a handsome and kind husband that makes up my warm and beautiful family now. What the actual hell? Do you really think now's the right time to be telling your actual daughter about something like that? The right time? <laughs> you and your father are the ones that left me, so I don't care if now is a good time for you or not to be saying that. <laughs> I think I have every right to say and do as I please now, since I have no ties to you guys. To be frank, I forgot about you and your father a few years ago besides having to pay child support. You guys wanted me to forget about the two of you, so of course I would forget that you guys ever existed. I am your frickin' daughter, you old hag! Yet you have the balls to tell me that you forgot about me? Well, you only ever called me an old hag, and so that made you look like garbage to me that I didn't need to remain in my life. I don't have the time for people like you to be my daughter after things like that. You have to be kidding me, right? Are you really telling me the truth right now? Of course I am. I have my own life now and a family of my own who all love me very much as their wife and mother. I have no interest in you and your father anymore, and you are both complete strangers to me, so you will not be getting any of that 30000 from me. That man is nothing to me now. All he is is a monster that cheated on me with another woman and wouldn't even pay me any sort of a settlement for that. And not just that, but also divorced me on my birthday while getting my daughter to believe that I was the problem and having me kicked out of the house for good and leaving me with nothing. And even after being kicked out of the family and the house, I was still asked to pay child support for you. And when I tried to have even a simple conversation with you, you'd call me an old hag and ask that I shut up. He cheated on you? Dad cheated on you? But, but I never heard anything about that happening either. And I told you why that would be. That man would never say anything to you that would make you rethink what he did to me and scare you away to my side. He made good use of you by getting full custody and then taking my money. I was really worried about you years ago when this all started, and that's why I would try and get a hold of you to tell you these things. But after time and time again of you telling me to shut up, I gave up on you for good. I was tired of trying to be a good mother to someone that only thought of me as an old hag and an idiot. Mom, just wait a second. Listen to me now. If you leave me with Dad and don't help us in any way, then what's going to happen to us? I'm going to most likely end up being on my own without him. It's disgusting to hear you call me Mom after all that time had passed, so can you just call me Anne from now on? <laughs> and you'll end up on your own? You are close to being 20 years old now, so I'm sure you can make it on your own without Dad. You already know that what I've said to you is final and that you won't be getting any help from me, right? So trying to carry on this needless conversation is going to get you nowhere. All you are to me is a stranger, and I thought that's who I was to you. But with something like this going on with Dad right now, can't you just help me out this once? You don't have anything going on in your life right now that you need that money for. What the hell happened to you being the nice woman that I knew you as long ago? 
I can see you're beginning to get frustrated now, but you have really not begun to understand that I do not want anything to do with your father and you anymore. The whole reason this all ended up happening is because you and your dad told me to get lost and stay away forever. What? Are you really going to listen to what we told you so many years ago like that? Well, weren't you both the ones enforcing what you asked from me for years after the divorce took place? You and your nasty father were the ones that laid out the playing field for us, and all I could do was follow your guys' rules. If you still feel as though you can get me to come and help you after all that, then maybe you need to go and talk to your father first about everything. He'll tell you the same thing, and will most likely not even want my help. So, do you have anything else to say to me? Anything else to say to you? You're being a freaking witch right now! Well, if you have nothing else to say, then it's time for me to go. Wait! Mom! You're taking things way too far by saying you don't want to see me as your daughter anymore! I am asking you to please come and help me! I need your money! No. I will never talk with you ever again after this, no matter how much you think you can get away with asking me for money. You were an awful daughter, and need to understand that there's nothing you can do to change my mind about that. Now, goodbye forever. And if after today your life becomes a living hell, just know that you deserve every bit of it. <laughs> Anne made it very clear to Lainey that day that she never wanted to talk to her again. In reality, Lainey was never there asking for money to help her father with his surgery in the first place, as her father was never in any accident and was not in need of any life-saving surgery. She had assumed that she could use her position as what she thought was Anne's daughter to beg for money during a fake time of need. Really, the only thing that Lainey needed that money for was to keep her from having to go out and work a real job to make income. But now that she wouldn't be getting anything, she will have to find a job just like everyone else. Luckily, Anne was never willing to fall for the lies that Lainey had tried getting her to fall for, and ended things between herself and her demented daughter once and for all. Now, Anne can really move forward from her sad past and look towards the future of being with her warm and caring family. Jake, are you there? I have some really big news, and I could really do with you being able to talk to me at the minute. Hey, I'm, yeah, I'm free. What's up? Well, you know that my grandma passed away recently, right? Yeah. Well, she left me some inheritance, and I've just gone and found out what it was, and you will never believe it. Was it a secret diary of long-lost lovers? <laughs> what? No. She left me six million dollars. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? That was my reaction. But how? I mean, she never seemed as if she had that kind of money. I know, right? But apparently she invested a load of money into stocks and bonds and stuff, and she actually had some shares in some pretty big-named companies. She had shares in Apple and Microsoft, for God's sakes. But if she had that much money, why didn't she ever use it for herself? Well, in her letter to me, she said that she had never felt the need to flaunt her wealth and use it on trivial things. She was happy and as content as she could possibly be with her life, and she didn't want things to change, which she knew would happen if she revealed that she was rich. Basically, she liked things as they were in her life. I mean, that's fair enough. If she was happy as she was, then money wasn't going to make her more happy. Yeah, precisely. And it's not like she didn't use a bit of it. When she got into her old age, she used the funds to keep herself afloat and to make sure that she and my granddad wouldn't have to worry about things when they retired. I guess it's kind of nice to know that money isn't everything to some people and that they would rather live a simple life full of love and happiness than one full of people simply after your money. Yeah, I guess so. But what am I supposed to do with all this money now? I mean, I never thought that I would ever end up this wealthy, so I have no clue what I'm supposed to do with it all. Well, just do what feels right to you. I mean, six million dollars is quite a lot of money, so... Perhaps you could give some away to charity, if you wanted to. Other than that, I'd suggest doing some things for yourself. Maybe buying yourself a nice new place to live, or some stuff that you've been wanting for a while now. Or spoiling your bestest friend in the whole wide world. <laughs> hmm, and who would that be? 
Well, it better be me, otherwise you and me will be having some serious words, Missy. Ah, well, don't you worry. I'll make sure to spoil you rotten, lol. But there was one thing I was curious about. What's that? Well, what do you think I should do in regards to Wayne? What do you mean? Well, I just mean that he's been acting a bit strange lately, and I don't know if telling him about this inheritance will make things better between us or not, you know? Yeah, I kind of get where you're coming from. Like, if you guys are having problems, maybe it's best not to mention anything about the money. Just in case he decides to try and act like everything's okay, just so that he can get the money. Do you really think he'd do that? Huh? Oh no, that was just a hypothetical. I'm sure he wouldn't do that, but maybe just for the safe side of things, you should keep this info under wraps a little bit. Just until you two have worked whatever kinks out of your relationship. But ultimately, it's up to you. He's your husband. Yeah, I think you might be right, though. Perhaps it would be better if I didn't say anything for a little while. Well, I'm here if you need to talk. Just let me know. Okay, thanks, Jake. You really are the bestest friend a girl could have. And I'll be expecting my own yacht by the end of the week because of how great I am. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'll add that to the list. See ya. See ya. Emily, we need to talk. Now. What is it, Wayne? I'm kind of busy at work at the minute. Oh, are you now? Are you sure that you're not off? Swanning about on some yacht or in some fancy hotel or something, buying yourself loads of fancy clothes and eating at loads of fancy restaurants. Wayne, what are you on about? You sound like you've gone crazy. I know about the money, Emily. The money? Oh, don't play dumb. You know exactly what money I'm on about. Your grandmother's inheritance that she gave you? Six million dollars? Oh, that. Yeah, that. Why didn't you tell me? I mean, your grandmother passed away months ago, so you would have known about the inheritance not long after that. We could have been living happily with six million dollars to our names. We wouldn't have had to work another day in our lives. Why didn't you tell me? Well, I didn't want it to change things. What are you going on about? Change things? Of course it would change things. We would have been rich. No money troubles at all. Don't you want that? Well, of course I wanted that, but I also want to make sure that our relationship doesn't change. We haven't been on the best of terms lately, and I just, I don't know. I didn't want things to get worse simply because of money. Now you're just being stupid. Things wouldn't have gotten worse with money. It would have gotten better. I could even give my mom and dad at least a million dollars so that they could live happily as well. Well, that's what I mean. Huh? Look, you know that I would help your family out and stuff, but your mom has never been the kindest to me. She actually hates me, and I don't think we should reward her behavior with money let alone so much money. It just doesn't seem right to me. Emily, she's my mother. I, I want to give us her money if I can. Yes, you can give her some of your money. However, this inheritance is my money from my grandma, the last thing she left me. So I get to decide what happens to it and who gets it. And frankly, your mom hasn't really been the nicest to me. So what? Just because she said a few things that you can't handle, you're going to not let her have any money? How stupid and selfish is that? Excuse you? It's not stupid or selfish. Sometimes people need to deal with the consequences of their actions, and so if your mom wants to be horrible to me, so be it. But she won't be getting any money from me, that's for sure. Well, me being your husband means that what's yours is mine, and so if I want to give my mom some inheritance money, then I can. Um, I think you'll find you can't. The money is all in my name, and considering we don't share a bank account, you have no access to it whatsoever. Uh-huh. Unless, of course, I divorce you. What? You heard me. I'm gonna divorce you and take half of that inheritance money for myself. I'll be three million dollars richer thanks to you and your grandmother passing. <laughs> this is literally the best thing that could have happened to me. I don't... but why? Aren't we happy? Oh, you truly are an idiot if you think that we're happy. What do you mean? I mean that I haven't been happy being with you for ages now. The only reason that I'm still with you is because you had a decent paying job. With you paying the majority of the bills, I was able to use my money however I wanted to. So you've been using me? All this time? Well, yeah, kind of. I mean, honestly, I can't see any other reason why anyone would want to stay with you. You're so boring, and let's face it, you're way past your prime. Past my prime? Well, yeah, it means you're old. 
Wayne, I'm 26. Yeah, that's the wrong side of 20. I need to be with someone much more youthful and younger than you. Someone who isn't going to drag me down. And it's just got that much easier now that I'm going to have half of your money. So what? You're just going to go and wave around a bunch of money and see what gold digger who turns up takes your fancy the most? Why not? I mean, at least they'd be up to having some fun. Besides, I'm only 27. I've still got loads of life left in me. I'm a young man with plenty of appeal. Oh, so you being in your late 20s means you've still got loads of life then? But I'm an old hag? Face it, it's just the way things are in the world. Women age faster than men and have to deal with the biological clock and all that. It just means that you're getting past your usefulness. What a nice thing to say to your wife. Yeah, well, like I said, you won't be my wife for much longer now. Well, at least we can agree on one thing. But if you think for even one second you'll be getting any of my money, then you've got another thing coming. Oh, and what are you going to do to stop me, huh? In cases of divorce, everything is usually split evenly. You can't do anything to stop that. Just you wait. Then we'll see who's laughing. Emily, how dare you keep your inheritance from us? That is just so incredibly rude. I always knew that you were no good. You would be a terrible daughter-in-law. I told Wayne not to marry you, but did he listen? No. But I suppose at least you've come in handy for one thing. With the money that we get off of you now, me and the rest of my family will never have to worry about money or working another day in our lives ever again. Well, Florence, like I told Wayne, that's not going to happen. Regardless of whether or not me and Wayne get divorced, he's not getting a single penny off of me. You keep thinking that, sweetheart. But the truth is that he is going to get that money and then he'll finally be able to marry that sweet girl he's been seeing for the last few months. Wait, I'm sorry. He's been seeing someone? So naive and clueless. LOL. Yes, he has been seeing someone. A woman called Drew. She's much nicer than you have ever been, and I seriously can't wait for her to be my daughter-in-law instead of you. In fact, Wayne has been thinking of leaving you for quite some time now. He just wanted to wait until the best possible time to do so. I guess he was right in doing so, though, because if he had divorced you all that time ago, he never would have gotten any of this inheritance money. Actually, thanks to you, Florence, you've pretty much just ensured that he will get nothing at all. What? How so? You'll just have to wait and see now, won't you? Thanks for all of your help, though. You've really done me a huge favor. See you, Florence. Emily, how could you? I, I don't understand how this has happened. How could you get given all the inheritance money? I, I was owed that money, too. Well, whilst usually you would have gotten half of that money, your mom told me something that I found very interesting. And, and what's that? Your mom told me that you were cheating on me for the last few months. With that in mind, I hired a private detective to follow you and look into what you were doing those few months, and I was shocked to discover that not only had you cheated on me with this Drew, but also with a few other women as well. You were also taking all of their money, and you've been filtering it into a secret bank account, which, funnily enough, isn't exactly a legal account. Huh? You couldn't possibly know all of that. And for spying on me, I'm gonna sue you. Good luck with that, especially considering I've already submitted your illegal savings account to the government to be looked into. What? Yeah, apparently the IRS is really interested in non-taxable accounts, which this one actually is. That's actually why you didn't get any money from me at all. The judge could see that you were up to no good, and he didn't want to give you any more chances to mess with any other woman. I... I think you should also be ready for a phone call concerning all of this. You'll have some very interested people wanting to talk to you very soon. Anyway, see ya. I've got a life to go and live and a best friend to go and spoil. Bye. After divorcing Wayne, I never felt more free. And with the money I inherited, I was able to quit my job and live a happy life. However, I didn't keep all of the money for myself. I donated a lot of money to charity as I knew that I didn't need all of it for myself. I also spoiled Jake a bit, as I promised, as he has always been there for me and deserves to be spoiled sometimes. As for Wayne, he was actually arrested for his illegal activities. The IRS was extremely interested in his offshore account and soon shut it all down. Wayne was sentenced to five years in jail and the IRS is going to keep an extremely close eye on him from there on out. I guess it really doesn't pay to be a horrible person like Wayne.